David. Hi. DJ. (laughs) I always feel like you have this sort of like particularly pleasant demeanor whenever we hit record and I'm just antagonistic, which is hilarious because I I think that's right. Because I think that's not how we are in real life at all. But I know in real life you are gregarious and lovable and I I don't want to talk to people. (laughs) It's 100% accurate. And so it's always funny when we start this, I'm always like, David, and you're like, okay, welcome to the rap show. And I'm always like, all right, what is happening here? And I'm always like, I mean, you're, you you are not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, I yeah, I don't know. I'm happy because I get to see you. I'm happy towards <laughs> you. The people I like, I am warm to. That is very fair. Uh, I yeah, I know this about you. It's a delight. And the people you like, you are antagonistic to. <laughs> that is actually also very true. You dumb loser. It's so true. See. <laughs> Yeah. No, I've had to explain to people multiple times in my life. I'm like, no, no, no. The more I like you, the meaner I am to you. It's how I oh. show my love. And I mean, you didn't have to explain that to me. It was within 10 yeah, minutes yeah. of meeting each other. We were already assholes to each other. And I was like, this is, this is my people. <laughs> I sat next to you in the audience for a reason on the first yeah, day. Yeah, because, because you were like, mm, this one's oh, going to draw oh, the oh, eye. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, fair. <laughs> This one's gonna draw the eye, so if I do anything ridiculous, I won't yeah. be blamed. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, um, uh, you're Dave Rapp, and you're TJ Tally, and, and we, we are, are the Bro Hawks. We got I know we got to like there's so, so many things we have to do. That is figuring out our opening is low on the list. <laughs> I mean, this is number sixty. This is episode 60. Oh, thank you. You remembered. I got you. Yeah. I did. This is 60 yeah. episodes. 60. We've done 60 of these. David, I want you to understand that this means that if you watch them all end to end, it would take over a day of your life. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. Wild. I spent over a day staring meaningfully into your eyes through a laptop screen. <laughs> and if you watched one a day, much like we issue them, it would take uh, approximately two months. That's right. Or one a week, it'd take a year. Oh, well over a year. That's terrible. We love this journey. Isn't it though? Oof. Oof. <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to the tournament champions yet, which is going to yeah, be so, so much close. fun. But we're it's in the finals. Be. We're in the finals of this bracket, and it's really good. It's been really fun. That's right. With the sixth champions wild card, we were the second. Yeah. So yeah. we have covered two, three, four, five, six. So sorry, uh, Spade. Yeah, Spade. sorry. Not sorry, guys. We were, we were legally obligated. We were legally to unable you. to comment on you. <laughs> and that does mean, however, Josh Stack, you got to come hang out with us so we can fix that. Agreed. Josh, yeah, that's on you. I tried to talk so, to you at the Tournament of Champions. Yeah, we got to do this. He's, you were he's busy a gentleman. Doing a busy winning, being a tournament, <laughs> being a champion in tournaments. Uh, he is our Facebook friend. We should shoot him a message. Also, we got to think about who we're going to have next week. We got to do this. I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. I love this solo fiesta, but I feel like we'll get other people to just give us their spicy. I drink. mean, I'm sure our viewer, I mean, other than mom, hi mom, uh, oh, probably right. wants to see other people. <laughs> oh, I think it's funny. My, we, my mom messaged me. We know me. a bunch of champions. And we do. They're so cool. Uh, and we need to get some of them on the show here. So I think we should. Yeah, we can hang out with our friends and talk Jeopardy. Yes. If you're a new friend, hit us up to come on the show. We want you. If you're a diamond, yes, of course. Anytime. Yeah. If you're a diamond, the the, the the door is always open. If you are another champion of a different stripe, yes, we want this. What's up? That's right. I just have to point out, TJ is wearing his uh, Green Lantern ring. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, that is my favorite guy. I have a lot of Green Lantern paraphernalia behind me, but... Since it's the the bit that we always do, huh? Huh? Yeah, Green Lantern. It Look, it's me. It's me, Dave Rapp. Mm, mm, mm. It's right. It's right here. Mm. It's it's great. Also, um, I specifically put this on knowing that I was going to hang out with you today. So, yeah, I've had this what's, since Comic Con 2012. What's your favorite sector? <laughs> do you know my favorite superhero, David? Do you know? Storm. Yeah, there you go, because I also have a storm tattoo. Yes, oh, yeah. Aurora Monroe. That's right. Also a mohawk. She is. Yes. She would be part of the Bro That Hawk was my favorite Federation. storm look. It, mine too. They're bringing yeah. back X-Men 97, and they're giving her a mohawk, but it's a weird mohawk, and it goes with her 90s costume, so I feel it's very 
jarring, but am I going to watch the hell out of the, the, the animated series? Most surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I It's weird because it was not... Uh, I'm worried, super nerd not right now. It was uh, uh, not a show I watched regularly. It's one of those ones I would stumble across. And sure. uh, to be honest, the production value first in the first run wasn't great, I don't think. Uh, so it seemed like a weird choice to bring that back instead mm-hmm. of doing uh, a new take. But I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because for people of my age, uh, it's profoundly nostalgic, right? So there's this sort of moment of like, oh, we're eight. You. You're starting to like, get your, your boomer stages. It's right. You know, <laughs> first off, I don't understand. I understand why the children are listening to music so loud. Why are the lady doctors? I don't understand any of these things. What is the world? <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's fair. Um, I said it to my colleague and jokingly. I was like, what are lady doctors? And she's like, I'm a lady who is a doctor. And I was like, yes, I'm from where I thought I didn't mean it for serious. And she was like, hmm, I married a lady who was a doctor. That's <laughs> true. That's true. And I, I am a doctor who is not a lady, but sometimes I am a fancy lady. So that's true. Sometimes you are fancy. All right, before we get to the show, I do have to ask because I got to finish my nerd dump. Who is your favorite Sector 2814 Lantern? Uh, that's actually a really hard one. I don't. I have to pick? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, can I just go for every Black Lantern throughout space and time? Every Black Green Lantern is always the one. Uh, all right. Yeah. So you're John, so you're John Stewart. I mean, and not the one from uh, The Daily Show. Not one bit. I just want to point out to people, I'm like, when I say John Stewart, I mean Black John Stewart. Because okay. people always think of him. Yeah. I mean, I like Hal Jordan, but John Stewart is my favorite because he just looks cool. Yeah. That's fair. That's a good one. He's a yeah. good one. Who's, wait, who's yours? I'm, a, I'm OG. I'm, I'm Hal. You're Hal. That makes sense. Yeah. But it was like John Stewart. I'm not OG Alan Scott, who is gay. Wow. Like that. Yeah, that's true. That's very, very true. Uh, but yeah, I'm 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 a Hal Jordan guy, but I love them all. I mean that's that's her. I also will admit that I like Simon Bass a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm a yeah I'm a John Stewart boy. I mean the problem is I look like Sinestro. You. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, I look like. Wow. Sinestro. Yeah. Wow, I can't unsee it. You can't unsee it once you see it. I described you once to a nerdy friend is I want you to imagine um, if Arcade had, had aged into middle age, what that is who Dave Rapp is. Arcade from the X-Men. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Less, less bow tie murder, but also like this as you were like, oh no, there's a trap door. And I'd be like, yeah. You want to know my favorite X-Men? I do want to know your favorite X-Men. Based solely on name. Havoc. Legit, legit. Also, inconsistently spelled in the 70s. Is it going to be with a yeah. C or with a K? Who knows? Yeah. One of the reasons why I love I Havoc and Flair is also because were... yeah. he can blast the shit out of Scott Summers. <laughs> and they never... <laughs> Anybody who, can, who fights Scott all the time, because we all agree that Cyclops is the worst, right? Cyclops is a cop. Cyclops. Yeah. He's absolutely a cop. Yeah. Cyclops is a cop. He knows it. Uh, my favorite moment in one of the, the not more recent, 20 years now, but um, in the Astonishing Room with Joss Whedon, uh, Emma Frost turns to him and she's like, oh, you're Scott Summers. You like homework and vegetables. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I hate to admit it, but I rewatched uh, the OG uh, X-Men movie recently. And um, probably my favorite part of that is um, when they're actually, they're at the, Statue of Liberty, and um, Mystique is there, and they're not sure she has impersonated uh, Wolverine before, and they yeah. uh, Scott runs into Wolverine, he's like, how do we know it's you? And he goes, you're a dick. And Scott's like, okay. okay. <laughs> yep. it's, I mean, still good. Also, I just realized that for the proof that I know who my favorite X-Men is, is that while you have your nerd them, I have my uh, many stages of Aurora Monroe coffee mug. So oh, we sorry. are... Did you? Are we... Yeah. This is this what yep, we're doing we, right now? This is what we're doing. We are very cool. Um, we're so cool. Uh, we're like ladies, we're... and in my case, ladies and gentlemen, call call us. We are shockingly single and very cool. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yes. And, and you know what? If you've hung on this long into the show, thank you. 
We're going to start yeah, watching mom, Jeopardy. We're going to start now. <laughs> Please go to the comments and tell us what other stupid things you want us to talk Actually, about. That would be great. Pop a little, pop a little note in the comments. And tell us what you want to actually hear us chat about in the pre-show entertainment, because yeah. that's what we do. Yeah, we well, like, tell us like, to shut the hell up and get to the game, and uh, we, will we will take that not under advice. So I mean, we will, but yeah, we, we want you to feel like you have a voice. Uh, no, we don't. Also, we want you to though, feel. No. We want you to listen to us more than <laughs> we want to talk at you <laughs> more than we want to listen to you. I mean, I tell mean, me that you're we, an old, yeah, would an we only be child doing this? or the youngest. Yeah. Yeah. That's, Would we be doing example. this at all if we wanted to listen to people? No, we want to talk at you. And apparently, there's like eight of you that want to watch it. So, also <laughs> you, Jeopardy, Jeopardy standards person, and we love you. You're the best. Oh, the best. Uh, uh, big shout out to the uh, Jeopardy uh, social media peeps. We yeah. Oh, you. who are always killing it. And um, also this week, Inside Jeopardy for talking about the Jeopardy Valentine, which also included us. Yeah. Los Brajacos. That's Spanish. <laughs> All right, here we go. Enough we of go. us. No one has ever said that except for most women that we've dated. <laughs> From no one has ever said that except for everybody that we've ever known. Everyone that we've ever known or loved. Is Jeopardy! Champions Wildcard! All right, this is exciting. We're at the finals. We're in the finals. We have three great contestants. I love them all. That's me. I do love them all. I, I know. I don't know who to root for. Absolutely adorable. Mira is super adorable. Jesse is. I have really an honest day crush on Jesse. He's charming and nerdy. And Deb, everyone's favorite, Natasha Leon. is the greatest person. Deb is super sassy. But, like, these are all eager to read. I was saying yesterday how sometimes you pick your horse because of the and personality. To the two game and total point final this is of this one Jeopardy where they all have great personalities. personalities. Like, By the end of tomorrow's show, we will I, know I if it will be Deb, Jesse, or Mira heading to the Tournament of Champions. Oh, that, which kicks I off on Friday. Wait. Oh, Deb was the one who did the perfect signature in her first yeah. round. Yeah. Where we have yeah. these oh, categories for you. I also want to go to Deb's restaurant. I don't care what type of food it is. And we have 1990s music. Science quiz. Look at this. Boozy. This is us. No, it's raining it's men. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Deb, where would you like to begin? It's raining men. You better men. get all of these right. 800. Okay. Ivan the Terrible's murder of his son in 1581 led to the family's dynasty that Come began on. in 1613 and would have the last czarring role. Oh, there's that. Right right yes. <laughs> it's raining men for a thousand. Uh, yeah. In his royal.uk bio, mentally unfit to rule during the last <laughs> decade <laughs> of his reign. Most George attractive. The third, the the George III, the madness of George III. He was the most attractive. Was George the Third. Good looking George the Third. Yes. <laughs> Look at her face. She's uh, like, Prince yep. For a thousand. Sure. This twelve-letter word describes the richness of life forms in a given environment. Mira, biodiversity. What is biodiversity? That's right. Well Boom. done, you and Mira. A science. Though quite sweet, the name of this almond-flavored liqueur means little bitter. Amaretto. Mira. What is amaretto? Right again. Boozy a thousand. Many a classic cocktail the calls for really a wee bit of this Scotch whiskey liqueur flavored with heather honey. Mira? What is the gem buoy? That's it. Oh, there you uh, yeah. go. Baldur's Gate 3 is a 2023 video game juggernaut based on the 5E rules for this tabletop role playing game. Dungeons Dungeons. What is Dungeons and Dragons? That's the game. Let's yeah. go 90s music for We've never time. played that. <laughs> this Red Hot Chili Peppers team implores, take me to the place uh, I love, resume, take me all, all the way. COVID. Under the bridge. What is under the bridge? That's it. Of course, I guess gonna get that. Like, who's going to get that? Yeah. from the yeah. show Happy Days were used in this band's video for Weezer. the song Buddy Holly. I'm going to get all <laughs> five of them. Weezer. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah, 800. <laughs> American music fans best know the band Blur for their song that starts with this shriek of triumph. Woo! Jesse. What is woo-hoo? That's the shriek. Yeah, Jesse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For wow. Answer there. <laughs> Daily Double. Oh, my. Ooh, this is tough. Jesse, that don't know means you have enough is. money now to move into first place if you bet it all in our it's correct. It's like 1800. You're going to do it. Here's your clue in hallelujah. As an interjection, it means freaking awesome, dude. As a noun, it's a less freaking awesome unit of scientific measurement. What? No. Sweet? What is rad? Rad is correct. Oh, yes. nice. Of radiation exposure. Well done, You're in the lead. Fun and games for a thousand. In this centuries old game with a hyphenated name, you throw a knife Mumble at your opponent's feet. What could go wrong? 
Don't ask why. I don't. That's a tough one. What is Mumblebee Peg? Back to you, Jesse. Science quiz for eight. Chloroplasts are where this energy conversion it. process takes place in plants. <laughs> yeah. What is photosynthesis? Yes, it does. I what? 90s music, six <laughs> This pop group made listeners feel oh, with the song Champagne Supernova. I, Deb. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. 90s music, so many four. people in Britain here's are Diane still Warren. big on that. This song that Tony Braxton Diane was Warren. too keen to record became her signature hit and won her a Grammy. Unbreak My Heart. What is Unbreak My Heart? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Glad I got that right. That. Um, 200 for 90s music. Shakedown is the first word of this Smashing Pumpkins song named for a 1979. Jesse. Oh, sorry, yeah. 1979. That's it. We're all out of 90s music and we'll be like, more and more. And then I went, woof, woof. We'll come back with more Jeopardy <laughs> Champions Wild Card in just a moment. Did you, someone posted this week on Facebook that 1979 um, came out in 1995, right? Which then means okay. that it would be the equivalent of someone writing a song called 2008. Mary, you told us about <laughs> prepping for Jeopardy with your bar trivia team. That is I understand your troubling. older sister helped out as well. Yes, my older sister, TC, found an amazing trick online. The closest thing to a buzzer is a toilet paper roll holder. <laughs> she very hey. nicely gave me one, and she and my younger sister <laughs> and my mom helped me do I know practice that games. But it's gotten heard a little this rusty now, but so I it can, sounds I really squeaky and annoying, and everyone's very sick of it. So so they'll be happy yeah. to uh, Anybody who says they can use a real buzzer. I know that's the Jelana. Brand new $3 toilet paper dispenser spring thingy. A girl can dream. Jesse, my <laughs> customer success specialist from Indiana. When you were first on the show, Jesse, you talked about your relationship with your work sweetheart. You're married to somebody you met at work. Jesse's you guys got still another together? Great Tell time. us about it. Still together. She's still in the front yeah. row of the audience with my mom. And um, we have a... My mom, uh, there's the Midwestern Bowl. You every now and then have a Midwestern Bowl. Oh, it's too, the light you. of my life. So I do what um, now? It's, it's been the biggest I, I said what I said. You've got a Midwestern Bowl that betrays you every now and then. Congratulations. Deb Bilodeau from San Francisco, California, is a restaurant with that also has somebody in the crowd as well, right? Your boyfriend helped out with your Jeopardy win. Yeah, uh, I mean, I gotta gotta give him credit. Uh, he got me to read one of the clues that was one I got right uh, in my first appearance. His favorite book, uh, Neuromancer by William Gibson. Shout out to William Gibson. Uh, send us some stuff. Um, <laughs> he did not get any Gibson. money though, um, so. Definitely the first time I've heard that. Gibson, sure. definitely, I'm sure. He's doing fine. Yeah, he's okay. But maybe <laughs> this time I'll take him out to a nice little dinner. You I mean, should. I did before, too. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> he made you read Cyberpunk. I mean, yeah. you put in the work. You should get a nice dinner, too. Okay. I understand yeah. from social media, <laughs> William Gibson, I believe, is a Jeopardy fan. He might be watching. Oh, my God. He okay, might cool. send you stuff. We don't know. Love it. <laughs> Jesse, you have control of the board at the I'm moment. I'm here for it. I'm here for all of it. Uh, boozy for 600. And, and William Gibson, this Gibson, golfer has his us, name on the drink of iced tea and lemonade. So William Gibson, we'll give you shout-outs, and we also want your attention. Jesse. Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's raining men for six. A 1920 sovereign ordinance of this nation had the Monaco. future Rainier III receive his mother's family name of Grimaldi. Monaco. What is Monaco? Yes. <laughs> raining men, 400. I love raining men. The first didn't even rule Egypt for a year and a half. But this pharaoh, the second of the 19th dynasty, clocked in for 66, 1279 Ramses. to 1213 yeah. BC. Jesse. Who's Ramses? That's correct. Hallelujah, six. Dictionary.com has three consecutive A's in this slang word. But you can draw it out even more before queen if you really want to show elation. Yeah. What is, what is yes? That's well said. <laughs> um, hallelujah, 400. You have to. So you have to. Like, quiet. I would have wished that you'd have gotten that. I was greatly used I, on Hulu's The yeah. Yeah. And I wish you would have gotten that's it. Because you know also Huzzah is a word that I say regularly. In 20 I say Huzzah all the time. Paid big bucks for I said it for like 20 years. when the show came out, I was like. That featured the one ring from The Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Wait, what what's is Magic the Gathering? Post Malone plays Magic, yeah. Um. Fun Games 400. What's your yeah. they say Salvador won the main event for the championships of this hairstyle with his due named the Lord's Drapes. Mullet. What's a mullet? That's correct. <laughs> uh, science quiz for six. Wow. Most snapping sorry, are Megan this egg. type of equal opportunity eater. Happy to eat any old animal or vegetable for brunch. Just We're going to talk about Salvador. Correct again. <laughs> science quiz four. A key to quantum mechanics is the notion that both radiation and matter can act as either particles or these. Waves. Yeah. What are waves? Right. Science. Too. I like my answer. This fourth <laughs> state of matter occurs when plasma. atoms in a gas are ionized. Jesse. What's plasma? The media. Yes. Boozy, four. 
An We're inescapable song by Rupert Holmes wonders if you like these cocktails and getting caught pina in the rain. Coladas. Pina coladas? Yes, he. What are pina coladas? Do you like pina coladas? That's right. <laughs> okay, boozy for two. They're okay. When it comes I to love this potent potable, go for one labeled 100% blue agave. Tequila. Deb. What is tequila? Ba -ba 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 tequila. Yes, you corrected it in time. <laughs> um, fun and games for 200. A tossed beanbag that has run afoul of the rules is deemed a stanker in this pastime. Cornhole. Yes, cornhole. Is cornhole? Right. It's That's the most Indiana too. response he'll give this week. In a job that does not seem <laughs> short of perks, the king of this nation hands each Nobel laureate a diploma and a medal annually. Jesse? Sweden. Sweden. King of All Sweden right. is correct. Sorry. And we'll finish off with that as well. Know. Ending in E.E., -E, this interjection expresses delight. The I.E. version was a member of the Youth International Party. Deb. What is yippee? Yippee is right. You are in the wow. lead with 7,200. Uh, Everybody's off to a pretty good start. Mira will choose first in double jeopardy, and that begins in just a moment. I love all of them. I love this game. I love. I want to. That was. A, I want that was... one of those three to be on the show with us. We've seen the scores, but they're now going to change very fast because it's double jeopardy time. Here are the new categories. I like all three of them. Places to visit. Yeah. Then American good. authors, art and artists. After that ends in IR. That, that it first ends round in was IR. Extremely random that was calculations. A round for us, My favorite kind. Sure. It was. We did very well. Mr. <laughs> Steve Martin. Uh, Mr. Mira, where do you want to start? American author 1600. This alliterative author of Western novels wrote several Hopalong Cassidy books under the pen name Tex Burns. Louis L'Amour. There you go. Who is Louis L'Amour? Mira? My Please grandfather loved Louis Lamour, the white one. Among the China's many tourist offerings is this temple in Henan, famous for its kung fu monks. Mira. Shaolin. Shaolin. Yes. Um, places to I actually find it deeply Henan. endearing how Mira Bob like, bobs and is weaves. is one of the gates in the wall around the I mean, Medina of this Moroccan city. I somebody who could not stand still and was told multiple times to please stop rocking back and forth. Marrakesh. I respect. Yeah. Oh. Art and artist, 1600. Yeah. Well, you were, you were, yeah, people were talking about Dutch it. People you can see at the Rijksmuseum include 34 in the Night Watch by Rembrandt and one in the work seen here by him. Vermeer? Deb? Who's Vermeer? Yes. Art and Artist 2000. Why did I know the that? The violence of the works in this early 20th century <laughs> art style <laughs> made critic Louis yeah. Rossell <laughs> call the painters wild beasts. <laughs> Deb. What is Fauvism? Good for 2000. Art and Artist 1200. I was never going to get Fauvism. Joe is among those who painted the parable of this good guy who helped Samaritan. someone in need. Mira? Who is the Good Samaritan? Right. Ends in IR 1600. This word for a slaughterhouse is borrowed from French. Mm. Uh, abattoir. It's abattoir. <laughs> That's right. Ends in IR 2000. The was slaughtered. This in word the can refer to a pirate in the Mediterranean. I want to point out the word, of course, there. Uh, the word abattoir is a word that I learned from uh, X-Men Comet. Oh, oh, I was there. It's a Corsair. Mira, back to you. <laughs> Um, but, um, American author because often they would refer to Avatar. Claremont would always have them referred to like a place of the violence. University of Nebraska yeah. was both managing editor of the school paper and literary editor of her yearbook. Jesse. Richard Stein. Willa Cather. Correct for 2000. Oh, of course. For, for 12. Answer there. <laughs> Bailey Double. All right. Now, Once again, you're within spinning distance yesterday. of the lead, Jesse. All of it. Okay. All of it again. Here's your clue yes, in places look to at visit. You. Oh. Tourists who make on, their buddy. way to these islands, 600 miles off South America, often miss the fur seals, which love rocky and shady areas. The Galapagos. Galapagos. What are the Falklands? Oh. Sorry, no. The Galapagos. I bet you considered both. Yes. Drops you down to zero, but there's a lot of time and a daily double left, Jesse. Make a selection. Extremely a random populations for 12. I love that. ML in Roman numerals minus Douglas Adams' answer to life, the universe, and everything. Oh, come on. I can't do that much math. Was, uh, wait, do, do we have to give the answer? Roman numerals? 1050 1002. minus 42 is 1008. Jesse? Or 8. Is uh, what I let's meant. go Sorry. to I knew Mr. They, Steve I Martin. I didn't know if we had 16. to give it Roman. <laughs> okay, so it's complicated. In It's Complicated, Steve's co star was this man, also Steve's co host for the Oscars. Deb. Who's Alec Baldwin? That's right. Mr. Steve Martin for 2000. After yeah. Steve asks Lily Tomlin why she thinks she'll come back from the dead in this 1984 <laughs> film, Lily replies, uh, because I'm rich. All of me, right? Yeah. What is all of me? It was that would be nice. great, Extremely random way. calculations for 1600. It's fantastic. Please. Number of U.S. states in 1958 divided by the number of our solar system's planets after Pluto's demotion. Six. Jesse. Six. What is six? 48 over eight, right. <laughs> Extremely random calculations for two. I can do that. 
Forbes' right. annual wealthiest Americans there, minus Fortune's annual biggest U.S. companies by revenue. Ten. Mira. Oh, uh, what is zero? One thousand five hundred. No, I'm sorry. Deborah Jesse. Zero. Zero. Deb. What is five hundred? Also incorrect. Oh, Fortune five hundred. That's right. So it's four fifty. It's four hundred minus five hundred, so it's negative one hundred. Oh. oh. Back to you, Jesse. Oh, man. Uh, American author yeah. twelve. None of that. Early in his career, this author of the corrections earned extra money Man. working in a seismology lab at Harvard. <laughs> Deb. Who's Franzen? Right. Um, Einzen IR 1200. Gorez and Chanthangi are sheep breeds from this disputed place on the Indian subcontinent. Kashmir. Mira. What is Kashmir? <laughs> right. Um, Enzin IR 800. Also, According my to National Netflix Geographic, song. the world's largest man-made one. And my favorite puff city song. In Ghana. Jesse. What's a reservoir? I've never uh, heard of the state eight. Puff Diddy before. She's the author yeah, of Puff, I think Puff Diddy. I was like, my brain is like, wow. Daughter. I just say P. Diddy and Puff Diddy at the same time. I was like, nope. <laughs> Who is Amy Tan? Jesse? What is it? Come random with random me. Calculations That's it. That's his eight. version. Come with me. Come with me again. number of Hercules labors times books in the Pentateuch. Jesse. What is 60? 12 times 5. Yeah. Got it. Uh, that was hard. For eight. Answer there. The third daily double. You Come on, found Jesse. All three, Jesse, with mixed results. Come on, Jesse. He, again, he found all three. Mm. Come on, Jesse. Let's do it. Let's just do a thousand on this one. Here's oh, your clue really? in art and artists. Surprising. Picasso liked to draw this bird. Also, his daughter's name translated from Spanish. What was their name? Paloma? No. Dove. Jesse? What's a dove? Dove is correct. <laughs> Paloma, Picasso. Yeah. Paloma meaning dove. Pigeon yeah. technically work. Same word. Places <laughs> to visit for eight. Head to this Thai capital to see the Grand Palace Bangkok, or Bangkok. the Buddha. One night in Bangkok. What is Bangkok? Yeah. Places to visit for One night in Bangkok. Italy has 59 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including this city Venice. and its lagoon. Venice. Yeah. What is Venice? That's also right. Venice, American yeah. American author is 400. You're an American author. In 2023, author. this author of Jazz and the Bluest Eye was honored on a U.S. stand. Tony Morrison. Unveiled Tony at Princeton, Morrison. where she taught. Deb. Who's Morrison? Good. Mr. Steve Martin for 1200 This title, Daryl Hannah character, says to Steve, <laughs> you have a big nose. This you have a beautiful, great, big, flesh so and bone good. nose. I watched this Deb. not Who's long Roxanne? ago. Right. Mr. It's Steve Martin. Maybe my favorite writing of his. In 2021, yeah. Mr. Steve Martin co-created this Hulu series. Only Murders in the Building. Just dropping like flies. Only Murders Jesse? in the Building. Is only Murders in the Building. That's the show. That's well said. We are Troy and Abed. Waking I'm up Abed. in I, planes, trains, I, and automobiles, Steve realizes the hand of this late great actor of, uh, is not Troy between Abed. two pillows. John yeah. Candy. Is Candy? John Candy is right. Between uh, the two pillows. Hard answer 400. The great uh, those museum are has a landscape with the fall of him later than the famous one. This time with Daedalus still up in the air. Icarus. Who is Icarus? Correct. Uh, ends in IR 400. It's a tchotchke or doodad. Perhaps the Virginia is for lovers keychain picked up on a vacation. Mira? What is souvenir? Yes. I have one of those. In extremely random calculations. Total degrees in a circle divided by justices on the U.S. 40. Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Jesse. What is 40? 360 over 9, that's correct. You're still in third place Wait after now. the Daily Double Miss. But remember, this is just the first game. Bueno. game total point Jeez. affair, making wagering very oh, interesting. Here right. is your it's final Jeopardy thing. category. That's why Jesse didn't go big on the 19th century American. Now. And we'll come back with the clue in just a Sometimes. moment. It's been a while. Everything Jeopardy <laughs> is at Jeopardy.com. Get behind-the-scenes stories and news with Megan Play. Oh, wait, what was the category? We gotta guess. All the latest oh, shit. What was it? Statements oh, wait. Should I make that up? Go. You're, You're ready to try talking out too show. much. We talked way too much today. To your Jeopardy questions We're a little bit off. Com. And by off, yeah. I mean on. Our finalists uh, spent that right. break thinking about their wagers and about 19... Mumble the day. Next century Americans. American. Here's the clue. Uh, Jefferson Davis. Davis. In 1896, no. 15 years after a famous show, Wyatt Earp. This man was accused of fixing a championship boxing match. 30 seconds. Good luck. I'm going to go quieter. Bumble the peg. Again, the, with the two day thing, I've never had to do that, so I don't know, but it seems like the wagering was almost. Brings me into in, inability to think. 
because I agree. Jesse I, Matheny in the middle of 5400. I don't think that far ahead in case that, that isn't obvious. Who is Braddock, the famous boxer, I believe? Jim that is Braddock. not correct, however. You wager guess, how big? 2600. So you now have $2,800. He kept thinking showdown. Mira Hayward was in boxing. second place with Why nine. Her? She wrote down, <laughs> who is Doc Holliday? You came up with the right showdown, but that's not. Ah, dead by that. Oh, okay, yeah, afraid. he was very dead. How but big did you know? Big $7,000. You also have. Oh, I have $2,800. They're tied. So we go now to Deb this is Gordo. Amazing. They were in the lead with 13600 like, And their response was. Who is Wyatt Earp? Yes, it was the gunfight at the OK Corral, but Wyatt Earp is the one that later ran afoul with his boxing shenanigans. I'm winning. How much I'm winning. You You're going to add you eight thousand dollars. <laughs> so a pretty commanding lead heading into the second game. But as you three know, Ooh, anything can happen in one of these two-game total points. I finals. love we'll Natasha Leon so much. We'll be crowning wildcard winner tomorrow, and we'll see you then. By the way, I'm kind of astounded that all three of them make in person. They're all young enough that they should. <laughs> or they could get away look with here, it. Look uh, here, Nana. If you are, if you have to be under 25 <laughs> to no longer write in person. And really 20. Aren't they? I don't know. I can't tell how old people are. They all look like they are over 25. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Mira might be 11. Mira looks but like still. she's in high school. <laughs> yeah. Jesse looks yeah, which, like... Which, which means she's 30. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse is definitely... Jesse looks perfect. like he's super excited about the fact that he doesn't get carded anymore. Right, which means you're 30, right? And then, which is uh, why, he, why he grew the beard, so that he would right. look old. <laughs> yeah. Deb may be 25 or a 300-year-old ancient spirit, and I'm okay with either one of these. Because Deb has that sort of like life experience. It's like, yeah, that's right. I remember the American Revolution. George Washington yeah. never paid his Deb, taxes. Deb's been wearing turtlenecks since she was in grade school. <laughs> right. Turtlenecks and blazers and a disdain for humanity, which I... I also respect. Say 100%. <laughs> we see for it, and we are here for it. Exactly. That's right. All right. David Rapp, Mumbledy Peg. Yeah. It's a game where you, you throw a, you balance a knife on parts of your body and whip it off and try to get it uh, uh, in the ground. What? <laughs> Uh, I gotta give I gotta give props to this one for to my dad, uh, Wayne Rapp. Um, he and his Boy Scout troop used to play Mumble D Peg with their pocket knives while they were waiting uh, for the scout meeting to begin. And when he described the game to uh, his children, uh, one of them being me, we were uh, aghast, <laughs> and we had the same face that you have right now, and we were like. What are you talking about? <laughs> and it's, I, such a, it's such a unique name that it stuck in my head. Mumbledy Peg. Come on. I was like, what are you talking about right now? You played a game uh, called Mumbledy Peg, and it involves bouncing a knife on your elbow and flicking it at people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm also now reading the Wikipedia. You, the other part of it is after the person throws it and it hits the ground, the most basic variation of the game involves you retrieving it, the other person retrieving it from the ground with their teeth. Okay. What? What is? <laughs> why? How? I mean, what? <laughs> the Wikipedia article has a bearded white man retrieving a pocket knife from the ground using his mouth. I mean, is it? Is it? A, is it? A, a scrimshaw carving? It. It That's looks the only reason this makes sense. It looks like some sort of Portland a, pornography. I don't a, understand. A what's wood happening. block made from a whale bone. <laughs> I what mumbledy peg is a thing that I did not know existed until right now. Oh, yeah. also, I find this amazing. So my mom messaged me because my mother watches, of course, Jeopardy every night at seven p.m. God bless you, Diana Talley. And then messaged me and was like. That was such an obscure Final Jeopardy question. I'm sure you won't get it. And I was like, and I now feel very good because Wyatt Earp. I'm yeah, a clever lady, Diana Talley. I'm, I, I'm a little surprised. Well, you know, this is just speak to the sphere of knowledge for, to you and me for some for whatever reason that seemed easy. Yeah, and yeah I was like, that seemed people. actually pretty straightforward. I was like, yeah. showdown. That means it's going to be either Wyatt Earp or Todd Holiday. But Wyatt Earp is crooked. And so this makes sense, but it would be 100% yeah. wider. No, to me, it was just like, yeah, like... Uh, it's anyone I mean, showdown. Tombstone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I have one word but, for you, Dave Rapp. 
Member Dipeg. I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs>